Um, hello, could you introduce yourself? Uh, Reed Brody. Yes, and your work? I'm a lawyer from the United States. All right. Um, you speak both English and French. Uh, it has been said that lawyers, American lawyers, have more access to several sources of information. Could you do the same work in France? Um, I, I think I... Pr well, you know, the, the, the legal system is different. American lawyers, I think, have a tradition of doing investigations themselves, yes. which is not so much the case in the, in the French legal system. I mean, basically, we did the investigation. Uh, in Chad, we did we, you know, we put together the case in, in a way that French lawyers tend not to do. But uh, I believe that French lawyers don't um, usually have access to private detectives and so um, on. Well, they, it depends. I mean, it's not a question of it, it's really a question of where you're going to bring the case. Um, uh, and I think you know there's there's a difference in the way um, French lawyers build a case. I mean, in, in a French legal system, it's the, it's the investigating judge that conducts the investigation. Yes. And uh, in theor theoretically, in the Hiss and Habre case as well, it's just that we had been investigating the case for 15 years before the investigating judges got involved. All right. Uh, you are called uh, dictator, dictator Hunter. Um, how much cases have you been part of and uh, could you give us a percentage, uh, percentage of what you could call a success? Um, I have lost many, many more cases than I have won. Yes. Um, I have put... Um, Because the targets are difficult to reach. Yes. I mean, once a case gets to trial, you win. The question is getting the case to trial. All right, um, that's the And the only problem. case that I've really gotten to trial was the case of Hiss and Habre. I mean, all the other cases, something happened and they did not go to trial. Uh, about Hiss and Habre, you said that Suleiman against Hiss and Habre wins, but you against Hiss and Habre uh, does not win. Uh, what is the weight of a lawyer in an international trial? Well, my role in the Habre case was not really as a lawyer. I was not wearing a robe in court. All right. Um, uh, I, I think I'm, I was more describing the political aspect, the campaigning aspect. I mean, people are not going, you know, they see Hiss and Habre and me, and they see this white guy from New York against an African president. They see Hiss and Habre again, they see Suleiman Gang Gang, and they, then they see a man who came out of a jail, yes. Hiss and Habre's jail. And so I think it has a very, it's an emotional question more than anything else. Yeah, so the population is easier to accept. Yes. All right. Um, do you uh, do you have hope at the beginning of a case? Um, because your your case are, are difficult to bring to trials. Uh, mentally, how do you see it when you want to begin something? Well, I think you always have to have hope. Otherwise, there's no point in doing something if you don't see a path to victory. Um, I think you also, you know, you have to be honest with people. I mean, and now I'm working with people in Gambia. I mean, I can't promise them what's going to happen. I just can say we're going to try. I mean, I, but I, I see a path. Yes. I have to see a path to victory. You follow an obligation of means and not of success. Correct. All right. And um, last one. Uh, you worked a lot with the medias. Um, can you tell us the difference between a journalist and a lawyer who both lead... Um, Anchets. Well, I think a, 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 I think there's an ethical difference. Um, a lawyer has an obligation to the client, um, and a journalist has an obligation to the newspaper and the readers. I think they both have an obligation to the truth. So you think the journalists don't have obligations to the population? That's why they're here to give information. That's well, the reader. Democracy. I mean, I mean, my, I, I am working for the victims. Yes. The journalist not working for the victims. The journalist is working to present a picture. Okay. Um, the journalist, um, I have no obligation to hiss and habre. Um, yes. The journalist has a more general obligation, but we both have an obligation yes, to the because truth. because it has to be neutral. So. Yes. Neutral, I don't know if they have to be neutral, but they have to present um, at least 
both sides of the story, let's say. All right. Thank you very much.